Is that my Maddie being a princess? Madeline, look at the camera. Look at the camera. You're never gonna do it. Good girl. Good girl, Maddie. Look at Maddie finding her light like a little model. Maddie Paul. Good girl. Uh oh, here comes the gang. Is that Bubby? Where's the fat man? Whoa, Milton, back up. Come on now. Good boy. Finally, you do what mommy wants you to do. Oh, and you're back up. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning, guys. I am up and at them, and I'm excited to get the day started, namely because I am having a brand new snack. This is that Nature's Garden Keto Snack Mix that I picked up from Costco a few weeks ago. If you remember, I normally start my day with some almonds and some cello wisps, but then I ran across this stuff, which has almonds and walnuts and pecans and pumpkin seeds and little moon cheeselets, what? So I'm having two servings of this. Each serving is two grams of net carbs, so that's four grams of net carbs, and I am just excited about the variety. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna have a pecan half right now. Mmm. Hello, Mr. Almond. Moon cheese, you said. Mmm. I'm about to do the morning YouTube live, and then I'm going on a walk with Richard, my mom, and Aunt Beverly. It's about to be family walking time. And then I'm gonna come back and eat. It is crock pot chicken day and I'm excited. Mmm. So, the walk today I'm expecting will be equally as intense as yesterday. Her mom is deceptively fast. <laughs> so I have not really calculated the macros for my meal. I'm doing like, an intuitive eating thing this week, which really just means I'm not changing anything except like swapping out the proteins. Cause it's like, okay, I kinda already know how many calories are in this. I kinda already know how many calories are in the cheese sticks and the pork rinds and the guacamole cup and everything like that. So as long as I just keep everything the same, I'm not exactly calculating it. And that's kinda caused me some anxiety, but like I'm gonna work on it. Okay, so we're gonna get off of here and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow at 9.30. Yes, yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh. See, uh, you always gotta be that. extra. You always gotta Bye. be extra. Good morning, everybody. We are out at Aunt Beverly's house, about to go on a long walk. But before I go on that long walk, you know what I gotta do, and I gotta do my zip fish shake. Ah, <sighs> and this morning I am having, and I roulette it this time because I have a ton of new zip fizzes. Uh, if you didn't see my Instagram post, you can see that right here. A ton of new zip fizzes. So I roulette it today and I have, bam! Oh my God, I knew it was gonna be peach mango. I attracted peach mango. I was like, it's gonna be peach mango and it is. No, girl, boo, you can't get no sip. Okay, and Beverly, are you gonna shake it? Just come over here behind mom. And then right there. when I do my zip fish shake, just gotta just gotta wiggle it. Just gotta shake it, okay? Uh -huh. Alright everybody, let's get ready to shake it. You want me to shake or shimmy? Yeah, oh shimmy. Oh, shimmy. Ooh, oh shimmy will work too. I mean it's it's do whatever you feel today. It's a freestyle zip fish shake. In three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't I, I can't tell what you're doing, but I love it. Mm. I'm shimmy it. Okay, good job. Oh, see, I got a body roll in there. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Oh yeah. How you doing? See how she just can't resist the camera? I mean, like, I literally, mean, what is her problem? I mean. Okay guys, to family, to oh, having a great day, to peach mango, which I haven't had in months. Okay, and to getting out and to being active, okay? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, That's I haven't had it in months. Woo, okay, we just finished the walk. We did 3.4 miles in an hour and, oh God. Oh my God, I am beat. Not her, me. Come on, BJ. Come on, BJ, he's a good boy. Oh. How was the walk, mom? Oh, the walk was, it was rough. It was rough, oh, you was the one man. in the front? I mean. I know, but see, I always feel like, I mean, I gotta, you know, the pace setter, you know, you gotta be there, you gotta be focused, you gotta do it. Oh no. So, now my Aunt Beverly just asked if I wanted to show you guys the shoes that she waited two months for from China. Do I wanna show you guys? I know, like, no, you know, does she want you to show them? Yes, cause I like them, I think they're cute. Oh, they are cute. Oh, okay. Totally worth the two month wait. I'm wearing new shoes today. Wait a minute, it's not a competition. 
Kardashian. Hey, hello. What is wrong name? with you guys? Thanks. Literally. I didn't wait two months for these. Look at these. This is oh, this is sisters. This is me and Amber in literally 20 years. Yeah. Oh, nice shoes, Aunt Beverly. Oh, Woo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hello, so me. me. Hello. Uh, Mom, nice shoes. So uh, oh, geez. Okay guys, it is time to eat and I am so excited. Once again, just crock pot chicken bowl, whatever you wanna call it. I have a bed of lettuce. I have some of that creamy crock pot chicken that I made for meal prep. I have guacamole, I have pork rinds. I topped my lettuce with some spicy brown mustard uh, and then I put some more sharp cheddar cheese on top and some green onions. And then here I just toasted up these Outer Isle Gourmet Jalapeno Mini Thins in the toaster and they become so crunchy. Mmm, mmm. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm about to make tacos out of that. Like, and then of course, you know I had to set it off with some hot sauce. So I'm going to take a bite of this, that crock pot chicken with the lettuce. It's so warm. Mmm, it's so creamy and it's spicy. The lettuce is crunchy. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna go sit down and watch some TV. Yesterday, I binge watched the entire season of Upload on Amazon Prime, like 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend it. Let me know down below, have you seen Upload? It's a story set in the distant realistic future about when people die and their consciousness gets uploaded into a virtual reality. You know, things that we've all seen before, but just a great take on it, if you ask me. So that's one of the new things that I just watched completely and I loved it. But then Richard and I also, we end every night watching a couple episodes of Burn Notice, uh, the old USA show. You guys, USA had some bangers back in the day, okay? You had Burn Notice, Psych, Suits, White Collar. What was that one where the woman was the spy? I mean some classics. Comment down below, did you watch any of those USA shows? Let me know which ones were your favorite. I know what my favorite is this meal right here so i'm gonna have this and i'll let you know what else i have today look at you what time is it honey buns it's fat bomb it time. is fat bomb time you are my fat bomb hello chocolate fat bomb how are you today uh, uh, uh. how many grams of fat do you have you are keto friendly approved okay guys it is fat bomb time these are just my regular old chocolate coconut butter fat bombs here except i did something a little different I used half the amount of shredded coconut that I usually do, and then I put in some chopped pecans instead. Like, what? Once again, if you're not in the Facebook group, just search Whack Daily Keto Updates on Facebook, and you'll find all sorts of stuff. Exercise motivation, awesome ideas on how to tweak the fat bombs. What? So I'm going to give this a try. I mean, it completely changes the taste. Like, it tastes like pecans. It's really great. It's still chocolatey. It is still coconutty. You can omit the coconut altogether and just use the pecans, but I like coconut, so I just decided to mix them together. And that is delicious. It has awesome crunch. The texture is still amazing. I'm gonna eat this and finish watching my Food Network, and then I'm gonna get some work done today. You heard it here first. That's really good. Okay, guys, my sister just left. We shot a new episode of our podcast which will be out soon it was really good i we were so in the zone i completely forgot to like preview some of it for you but it was awesome it'll be coming out soon i'll give you all the details one thing that i'm really bummed about i completely forgot about my bulletproof coffee that i normally have like i usually have that in the morning but we went walking today and that just threw everything off as soon as that walk was done i was ready to eat and then right after I ate, I got to work, and then my sister came over, and then now we're here, and it's six o'clock at night, and it's too late to drink coffee, so I can't do it. But just to let you know what my Bulletproof coffee is gonna have, it's gonna have a cup of chocolate almond milk, it's gonna have a cup of coffee, a tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a scoop of that keto collagen, and 
some sweetener and that's gonna be delicious on my other days but I'm not having that today so I thought it would be a great opportunity to try this Catalina Crunch cereal that I got last week. So Catalina Crunch sent me some cereal. They asked me what flavor I wanted. I said mint chocolate because that's an interesting flavor of cereal. My only thing with cereals is that the serving size is just never worth it. For instance, you guys, this right here, can you even see it? This is two servings. Like this is two servings, which is 10 net carbs. Like, are you serious? Like. There is just no way that this is worth half of your net carb for the day. I don't care how good it tastes. Like that annoys me, which honestly, let's be honest, it tastes really good. But for me, am I a cereal eater to where this would ever take up 10 net carb? No, I mean, come on guys. This is two big spoonfuls of cereal right here. Mm, I mean, it tastes good, don't get me wrong. This is basically breakfast dessert, okay? Eat you four eggs, four slices of bacon, some avocado, and then just come with like two spoonfuls of a sweet cereal because there is no way that this is filling. Everyone, my husband Richard. Okay, okay. try a bite. Let's see what this is about. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely picky. It kind of looks like French toast to me. Oh, I'm so. You like it? That's candy. It's cocoa-y and it's minty. No, that's candy. But like, and if you could eat them one at a time, then mm. sure, maybe one serving is worth it. All right, so I'm gonna have really one of the <laughs> one of the yeah. two spoonfuls Thanks, that this serving allows for. This this is also two servings, lest we forget. Okay, it's good. All right, mm -hmm. I sure do. Let's try some of those. It's really chocolatey and minty and like chewy. I mean, don't get me wrong. You get your chews out of it. You know, like it is a lot of work to get through, but not for 10 net carbs. So don't get me wrong. I definitely recommend this product if you don't want to eat a lot of cereal. If you just want like a couple bites of cereal to hit the spot, eh, cereal, take it or leave it, but that's the thing. I don't know how much this costs, but regardless, the good news is I got a discount code that I'm gonna put down here in the description box go. below that you can use. Okay. So I eat this. I think I'm done for the day. I mean, I'm not in the mood. Like I'm not in the mood for Jello after this. I'll tell you this. So maybe I'll just okay. have some Sprite, and maybe it's, that'll it's be it. Very chocolate. Mm -hmm. Once again, thanks, Catalina Crunch, and I will be listing the link in the description box below. Okay, you guys. I decided not to eat anything else for the rest of the day. I didn't have any Sprite. I've been sitting down editing videos, and I just had some water. So that's awesome. Overall, today was a great day. I ate a great amount of food. That crock pot chicken is delicious. Those fat bombs are amazing. So today was a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.